I'm saying it from the beginning. It takes only one tournament to bing, to get even or to make some money, make profit in any tournament you go. So this morning we woke up and we got the message. We received the message if we want to rebuy in the Super Jackpot. Well, we checked the draw and of course we will be in. So we will start at 12 and we're gonna give it one more shot. So far we lost all the matches. I really believe it was all the matches in the first round, which is just, well, sometimes it's just like it is. We're not gonna complain. I mean, we can complain, but not like this. It'd be just waste, waste of time, right? Uh, so we're still sharp. We still got a chance. We still got a hope. Well, we're smiling here. Well, we're sad in the, in the, in the deep here. But that's all okay. one tournament and this might be it. We usually get very, very good um, results in Super Jackpots in general. So really looking forward to I this. I hope in two hours I'll be able to report to you that I won my first round with a big smile. And if I don't, well, you'll know because either I don't report, <laughs> no joking, or I'll just look sad. Also so. gotta catch the update from yesterday as um, again, we are usually not recording uh, super tired that we are just taking taxi home and well, it's just the end of the day. So Chris won his match. Match. He won his second chance match, so he's on the same route like we were last year. Basically, we lost in the semi-finals of our undefeated bracket. Uh, then we fought all the way of five match, four or five matches up to the finals of grand final. So tomorrow or today, actually, he's playing against Victor Ashkenazi again. So same opponent who he, who he lost to from that crazy position. So. So far, exactly the same thing. So when I started this vlog this year, I said, well, everything seems just to be same. I mean, I'm losing the match. I mean, I'm going deep in the in the open. I lost in the high roller and I should have won the main. Well, for some reason I was wrong and it, it didn't happen. Well, maybe I wasn't wrong at all because maybe Chris is gonna do it and Chris is gonna win the world championship title and everything's gonna be the, really the same. Well, just a different person. So right. big day before the last day of tomorrow. Um, it was a great tournament, great experience, but well, I'll do recap just tomorrow because well, still, right now, we're still in action. So nothing's, it, nothing's far away from over, or no. Everything's far away from over, this is better. By the way, you may be wondering why do I have to rebuy for the super jackpot? I mean, I didn't even report on a loss. Well, yeah, I forgot to report on a loss, but it was just quick yesterday, uh, yesterday night. And uh, yeah, I lost to Kenji. Uh, interesting match. For a second, I thought we may be gonna win, but we didn't. Slight change of plans. Um, we are not rebuying right now. There is uh, 20. There are 23 players, and the last spot is basically free. Uh, so they would complete the 24 player bracket. Uh, so we are not taking the last spot because we will play against Jan Jakubowicz. So we will basically have a very difficult draw all the way. Uh, so we are not taking the spot. We are waiting and hoping that they will fill out eight more players, which we should be in, and there will be like a uh, new draw just random draw so there would be a chance to get you a better draw because well Jan is one of the top German players and well it would be just just a very tough match so if we don't play we don't play but I don't think it would be a smart move right now to do considering everything so it's getting very intense the second chance which last eight players who are fighting for the second spot in the final of the world championship is the draw The winner will play tomorrow, Frank Rigo, in the grand final of the World Championship. Very exciting. Let's All the play players right now get guaranteed 4,000 and basically fighting each time they win a match, they double their money. So, pretty good spot to Come be. Come on, Julie. Yes. <laughs> good draw, let's go. Very good. My name first. Yes, now here, not the okay, opponent. So Julie, come on, now our opponent. Who? Justin Bolsinos. <laughs> All right. All right. Wow. 
Well, we won our first match in the first round in like seven days. It feels good, but uh, the bad news, good news, we will see what it's gonna be yet. We're gonna play immediately the second match, second round of the Super Jackpot, last 16. We're gonna play immediately, so let's keep it going. So it's officially over. Well, this is definitely hasn't been our tournament. Uh, we lost the Super Jackpot the second round. We were 6-4 up to 11. Uh, we got kind of a gift, we got a beaver, well, we can't beaver, but anyway, we got a little lucky for one second because we could immediately re to four, which was like borderline take fast, and well, then let's say we lost the race where we had like miles and well, 90% is just not enough in backgammon sometimes, so well, way to go for another tournament. Now we need to just watch and just hang around, so this is the quick up. recap uh, of this week uh, on our way home and about what happened so well we didn't cash anything this trip was well, the last chance tomorrow but yeah as we said um, even I mean we hope to win of course but well let's just hope I mean let's just say we don't cash uh, so we didn't cash anything but I mean that's all right yeah I mean most of the tournaments I mean there's like a bunch of players and basically like 10 percent of the people cash in the tournament so well most of the players don't really cash even though there's plenty of tournaments uh, especially here in Monte Carlo when there's basically three, four, five bigger tournaments which you really want to cash in. Basically one cash makes a lot, so you just want to do that. You want to have that deep run, you know, where your friends support you and you actually get a chance to win the trophy. Uh, There's always full of adrenaline, you know, that case. And I mean, those are the moments you're fighting for basically, right? So, I mean, that's why we practice, that's what we, why we are getting better, because this is just a feeling, I mean, why I love to play, always like getting into these getting into these um, positions in the tournament where you're already basically everything is on the line it's just amazing adrenaline uh, it has been a while since this happened since uh, I actually well quite fortunate but also unfortunate at the same time I can't really remember last tournament where I didn't cash anything or I didn't win any trophies so of course fortunate on one thing unfortunate it happened just in Monaco right now but well uh, we just hope to do everything like we did last year in Dubai and just win just everything. Anyways, yeah. what's the point why I'm saying all this? Well, I mean, um, I, everybody is upset when, when you lose, right? I mean, especially when, well, especially when it's not been your week uh, or when you lose an important match. I mean, I've been upset as well. But why am I saying this? What's important? Well, at the end of the day, you just want to be happy anyway. I mean, you enjoy everything else. You enjoy watching. You just look forward, I don't know, whatever, to get home, to get to another tournament and everything. Again, you're sad that it ends, but at the same time you're excited for next adventures and everything. So yeah, well, we are very, very sad that we, again, didn't win, but well, we were still smiling at the end of the day because, I mean, as you could see, everything was nice. Yeah. Even when the matches don't go away, you can just enjoy dinners, drinks, spending time with friends. And that's the another part, that's the another side, what's very important to this. Uh, yeah, running by the car, that's not one of those things. So we better go. See you, good night, and tomorrow is the last day, so let's have a great Oh one. yeah, sorry, one more thing, what I I almost forgot, one very, very small detail, one little thing, uh, the second chance undefeated finals is being played right now, it's between Japanese guy who actually, what I heard, qualified for like $6 to this tournament, so he basically won entry fee of like, I don't know, five, 6,000 euros, a whole package for just six dollars so he's in the finals of the second chance and he's playing against um, Mario Kuhl who already won the high roller 7.5k 7, 7 high roller so very exciting they are both excellent players and it's going to be top quality final between Frank Frigo and one of these guys 
So yeah, we didn't talk much about Gavin this week, but um, well, it was not really exciting, so I couldn't really be, uh, I couldn't really be giving you all my honesty about the moves, about the excitement. Well, because we didn't win, and I don't really like to complain about <laughs> about the positions, but what uh, what I've lost or telling the stories. I mean, I've told you some, like today, for example. Uh, just because it was a joke, of course, huh? Uh, but anyway, uh, hasn't been the week. Hopefully, we'll have some positions in Dubai and, well, I'll manage to work a little bit more with this editing stuff and whatever. So, it's been a tough one.